All right, let's go back into our daily Hiva X. And we've already discussed, you know, sweeping them left, sweeping them right. But another direction that we need to be ready to take is actually coming up and going forward with our sweep, all right? Taking them directly backwards, all right? A lot of people are gonna really rest and, and, and drive all their weight back, okay? To try to make sure they're not too off balance one side or the other. And in that situation, we need to go up and go forward to take them backwards, all right? So we'll say, once again, I transition, boom. You know, I started working, taking them either direction, didn't happen, I went daily to X, and now he's staying super far back, okay? Here, his center of gravity is so low and so far back, it's very difficult for me to take him either direction, all right? Sometimes, I will mention this, sometimes, you know, maybe letting go of one of the sleeves because they grip on the collar can help you pull and bring them and then tilt them over the other way. This is one thing that I will look to do, all right? Um, but when I grab the collar, now I'm sacrificing the control I have of this one hand, and I won't be able to take him that way anymore. So now he'll know better, yes. And these sort of things can happen where now he knows I'm trying to take him that way, he stays the other way, okay? So this can start, you know, uh, kind of a long battle of, 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 you know, me always taking him one way or the other and him adjusting properly, okay? So let's just talk about keeping these sleeves here for another minute and what we can do whenever he starts to sit back, okay? So all of his weight's going back, so that's where he's vulnerable, that's where he's gonna be off balance, okay? And the beautiful thing is, we have this leg right in front of us that we can still work tripping, and we're gonna talk about, you know, taking single leg options and things like that as well, okay? So, but let's look at a real simple one that we can do while we have both these sleeves, all right? So, you know, I'm really uh, trying to take every way, and when I feel all his weight go back now, I know what I have to do, okay? So, first thing for me is as I'm getting my balance, is starting to take this back, the bottom leg, out, okay? And I'm gonna post it behind me. Let's turn this way. All right? So, as we're here, I'm gonna take this leg out and post it, all right? Now, all I'm gonna do is just roll up onto my knee, and then I'm gonna literally take his hands towards his face, okay? I'm just gonna push him back, all right? So he's leaning back, I, I take my leg out, I post, I'm gonna to start to come up on my knee, and now I'm just gonna to start to drive and push his hands towards his head, okay? My leg naturally trips his leg there, okay? As I take him back, he's never gonna land in a great position, okay? Here he's already kind of ready for me to look to a side smash, um, and if he keeps his knee out, I'm going to be in a great spot where I can come right in and look to force half guard, and we can get into some of that timeless half guard passing. Okay? So, once again, we got into our daily Hiva X. We're trying to take it in the direction it's not happening. He's literally pulling me up. I feel it. Okay? You know, the resistance is telling me what to do. All right? So I start to sit up. Drive, and you see where I'm at. Okay, look, he's already falling. All right, you notice how I keep this heel very tight to my butt so this leg can't step out. I don't want to try to come up like this. Maybe I miss that foot, all right? So my heel comes really tight to my butt as I come up, so his leg's stuck, all right? Now all I'm doing is just pushing his hands up to make him fall. Boom, I'm ready to pass, okay? This is a really nice option um, because it's fast. There's no, there's not a lot of read for him, okay? He's just resisting and then boom, I take it, all right? Um, anything else that we do where maybe I start to come for this, this type of grip around his leg, he knows that at some point I'm gonna wrestle, okay? Um, but this is still a great option. I'm just saying with this one, there's no other grip transitions. I can be here and really kind of uh, disguise this, act like I'm really trying to go one way or another, and then as he sits back and he's resisting, I just change the game, okay? I come up, boom, drive him down, and now we're on top, all right? So one thing I always like to tell my students, you know, and remind them, like, from our guard, it's really easy to get kind of caught up in the, the beautiful, intricate 
sweeps that have, you know, a lot of steps to them and maybe like really flip the person around and do something amazing, right? But it's important to remember that an easy sweep like this, where I come up and literally just drive them backwards, all right? That is worth the same two points as that beautiful, intricate 20 step sweep, right? So anytime you can take just the easy, come up and put them down kind of route, um, you know, you should do it. And, and, and don't forget about that. Don't lose that sight, okay? Um, you know, uh, there's, tw there's 20 other sweeps I could have went to from there that might have a whole lot of steps to them, um, or there's me just driving backwards, right? And so the easy route for me is always my favorite route. And, uh, and I think it's important that, that students see that and understand that with their game, all right? Um, it doesn't always have to be a, a, a long, uh, drawn out process, okay? Sometimes the best thing to do is just to come up, take them backwards.